All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to our first uh, ever uh, performance here at Haskell with our Haskell School Band. So um, I appreciate that you're engaged. You know, say that for. Thank you very much. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is uh, Mr. Testa, and I am the band director here. This is my first year here, as it's the first year for the band. Uh, behind me, uh, we have just about 45 students here who have been working incredibly hard to prepare uh, today's program, uh, as well as uh, other programs that we're going to be holding throughout the year. So uh, we're going to get started with our advanced band students on stage, and they're going to be playing uh, for you our opening song. Uh, this is Variants on a Celtic folk song. Uh, you're going to hear this really awesome short little melody, and what's cool about this song is that everyone in the band gets a chance to play it. So you're going to get to hear all the different instruments play the melody as it bounces around. So keep listening for that first melody, and uh, hope you enjoy our first song. This is Variants on a Celtic Folk Tune. school hours. Um, every student in the program has an opportunity to play um, one of many different instruments. And in a moment, we're going to introduce those instruments to you one at a time so that you can hear each one and see each one up close. Um, and students come to one lesson a week, um, and they go come to at least one before school rehearsal in the morning where we all play together. So uh, when we combine both of those kinds of things, uh, we end up with this absolutely beautiful ensemble. So. Uh, to get started, uh, we're going to introduce each instrument and give you an opportunity to hear them uh, individually. We're going to start with our flute section. Uh, can I have Liz and Elizabeth come on up to introduce the flute?
starts hard and then it's easy. With most instruments, it's easy, and then you get more advanced and it gets harder. It's the opposite of this. But for us, um, and it's very you can bring it around easily. It's very light. You have to be careful though, so that you don't bump into anything so you can break. And have some it's interesting information that a person who plays the flute can be called a flute player, a flutist, or a flute. And, and they're one of the earliest instruments. And fun fact, George Washington and Leonardo da Vinci played it. So, yeah. <laughs> So to demonstrate how the flute sounds, we're going to be playing a song called Merrily We Roll Along, but you might know it as a different name. to talk about our clarinet section. Hi, my name is Alyssa and I play clarinet. Um, obviously you can just find me. Um, it belongs in the woodwind section and to make sound you have to press keys and make sure you have a read correctly on there and you just blow as hard as you can. It's not too hard, I'm just going to squeak. Uh, the worst part of playing it is that when you first play it, it the weird vibrating sound on the lips feels really weird and it took me a while to get used to it. The best part of playing it is that it makes a beautiful tone and it's pretty easy to play. And the clarinet section has, um, what's really cool about the clarinet is that it actually comes in different sizes. Most people are familiar with just the standard size. Go ahead and hold that up right there. But we're very lucky in this band. We were, uh, we were able to receive a brand new bass clarinet, which is twice the size. And our uh, student John over here plays it. Yeah, it's really big and it plays some really low sounds. John, you want to go ahead and play some of those low ones? So, and that low sound really fills in the uh, bottom part of our band. It gives us that bass that we really like. So, they're going to be playing Go Tell It Ruby for you. So part of the fun of playing uh, an instrument is that it can play in a lot of different uh, situations. And one of the things that uh, I really like is what we call small ensemble work. It's when we get small groups of instruments together to play, um, you know, independently. And the clarinets have been working really hard and preparing a short piece um, that is what we would call clarinet ensemble. And this is called Fast Talk.
Next, I'd like to introduce Luke. He's going to tell you guys about saxophone. also very lucky to have instruments of different sizes. The alto sax, which our players are in this back area over here. Can you guys hold those up? So those are the alto saxes, but we're also very lucky to have a tenor sax played by Nicky Beer. Can you just hold that up nice and, bit, nice and tall? You can see the tenor sax is a little bit bigger, and it plays a little bit of a lower sound. They're going to be playing a piece for you today called Lightly Bro. so much. We, we're, it makes us just feel really happy to be here. Um, to continue, I have two more uh, sections to briefly introduce. Uh, one is our low brass section, and unfortunately here we only have one member of that section, um, and we're hoping to get a lot more. Um, but if you wouldn't mind standing up, Stephen. Stephen plays the trombone, and this is a low brass instrument. Yeah, it's an instrument that's very, very easy to see. Um, trombone is a very special instrument because it plays low notes like our bass clarinet here. Um, but it also can, uh, it also has a slide, so it can change notes in a very unique way. Can you demonstrate for, for us, please? So, you can get a note that's super low like this. And you can get a note that's super high, and you can get a note that's super high by not even moving the slide. And I can do Our low section will be playing uh, a very short song for you as well today. Uh, this is called A Clarity Lily.
Thank you. Last but not least, uh, I'd like to introduce to you the last section of our, our, our band. And these are the students who are standing up behind. Can you guys give a wave back there? This is our percussion section. And our percussion section has a really great job. They are responsible for keeping the beat in our band. They provide us with a strong rhythmic bass so that the rest of the band can stay together. Um, and they can also play many, many different instruments uh, to not only accomplish that, but give us uh, a lot of different sounds. So we have our bass drum, which is this very large drum. Go ahead, give that a, give that a hit so everyone can hear it. So, and that helps keep the beat as well as give our music a little bit of a style. We have our snare drum, which is uh, probably the most important instrument in the section. Um, and it has a very unique sound. Go ahead, hit it a couple times. <laughs> Excellent, very cool. Um, we have our cymbal section, and, and this is a really cool section because our cymbals can play in many different ways. Most of you are familiar with crashing a cymbal. You have a drumstick, you crash it first. Go ahead, give it a whack. There you go, nice and big. Excellent, but the cymbal can also do something else. Uh, it's called the suspended cymbal roll. We had it in one of our first songs, and this is a sound that grows over time. And, and go ahead, demonstrate that for us. Let's get one more time. Excellent. Very nice. So, we also have a section uh, that we kind of refer to as toys, and we have one toy here, um, although it's really not a toy, and that's our triangle section, so, and Josh has that back there. Uh, the triangle is a unique instrument because it's so, it's very small, and most of us play with them as, as kids, right? So, but a concert triangle is special because it can ring for a very long time on its own by just hitting it one time. Um, Go ahead, give us a nice solid hit. Did everyone hear? Still going? Right. So um, it's a really neat instrument, and it adds kind of a nice light character to the band. So we have uh, our percussion section. They're just going to play for you a small section of that first piece, so you can hear how they sound by themselves. So. So, um, of course, um, there's this really great scene in the movie Ratatouille. Everybody, anybody see Ratatouille? Great little movie. Yeah, most of us, I hope. It's a great movie. If not, you know, y'all have homework. Go home and take a look at it. But there's, there's this amazing scene in the movie that I think kind of really works with music. Um, there's a scene where the, where the mouse, or the rat, uh, excuse me, is a Ratatouille, right? Okay, uh, is eating like different flavors. And in the background, there's like different colors going on, right? Like he eats a piece of cheese and it goes all blue. And then he eats a, you know, a little piece of bread or something and it goes red. And they're all like cool, unique colors. But what's really neat is when he eats them together. Anybody know that scene? Remember that scene from that movie? Well, band kind of works like that. Individually, all these instruments sound really, really wonderful. Um, but together, uh, they sound just absolutely incredible. So we're going to play for you the first song that we learned how to put together. It's called Conquest. Um, and this will be our, our last big number for the day. Uh, after which, um, I have a little bit of time uh, for some of the younger students, um, or all the students really, to ask any questions of our band members or me about our program. Um, what are my fourth graders? Fourth graders, there you are, okay. Um, next year, you guys have the opportunity to join us on stage. We're really hoping to see uh, pretty much all of you up here. That would be absolutely wonderful. But uh, without further ado, this is our last song. This is called Conquest.
Um, again, uh, before I say a couple of thank yous uh, and invite some of your questions, I just one or two quick uh, comments. Um, I'm very, very, very proud of this group. Um, they took a risk in joining in, um, this brand new activity that, you know, they didn't have, like in most cases, in most schools, you, you know, the fourth grade, you guys have the opportunity to see this band perform first, and that could get you really excited about joining. Uh, these students took a risk in joining, not really knowing exactly what it was, um, and they just performed absolutely beautifully. Just about, um, if I might ask, uh, band students, please raise your hand if this is the first year, like you started in September, so, if you're out there, yeah, absolutely. If you're out there uh, in that fourth grade section over there and you're thinking I've never played an instrument before, or I'm not sure how to do it, or I don't know, um, all of those hands you just saw, they didn't know either just a couple of months ago, and by now you can see they're already playing full songs and, and functioning as, as real uh, members of the band. Um, we have a couple of performances coming up as we get towards the end of the year. Uh, we have our advanced band, they'll be performing at an adjudicative uh, performance at Dorney Park, which is uh, a judged event, so we're going to be working really hard over the next couple of weeks to get that prepared. Um, our big concert will be combined with Wanakee School, and that will be at the Wanakee School Auditorium, and that will be on June 6th. So that will be just a band night. Uh, we'll be playing uh, many, many tunes. Uh, we've got a lot in the pipe for that, and we've got Lakeland Band joining us for a couple of songs as well. So that's going to be a really amazing evening, and we hope to see everybody at that. Um, before we break uh, for questions, I just have a lot of thank yous. Uh, I'll try to run through them quickly, and I really hope I don't forget anyone. Starting at the top, um, our Board of Education um, and Administrative Team for putting this program back in place uh, and making it available to all of these students. Um, as somebody who loves music and really believes in this, um, I'm just so thankful that the students have had that opportunity and that I've had the opportunity to, to lead it. Um, I'd like to thank the administration here, uh, Mr. Doolittle, for being incredibly flexible and making sure that I had all these little details in place to make the program work, so thank you so much for that. Um, the teachers here have been, and I've been trying to avoid the puns, but they've been instrumental. <laughs> Uh, in, in being very flexible, um, most of our lessons operate on a pull-out program, which is very taxing on a building because it's just another thing that they're coming out for, um, and they've been so accommodating. Um, and of course, our custodial staff uh, and Gigi for setting up this room in such a wonderful way. It made it so easy to come in and work. Um, the parents for leading everyone through their first steps on their instruments. I mean, um, as a, I have a five-year-old who just started piano, and I know what that is first beginning notes sound like and for you to be supportive through that is just absolutely incredible and of course the students um, there's no real credit for them they don't get a grade um, they're here because they want to be and they do just a, such a fantastic job it makes this the best job in the world so the students uh, everybody thank you Bams. you guys are just absolutely wonderful um, are there any questions in the audience that you might want answered by one of our band members we have just a minute or a couple of minutes uh, left to go go ahead nice to meet How long does it take us to learn a song? So, um, go ahead. For our first song, Conquest, it took us, what, maybe a month, two? A month or two after, yeah. after we learned our first couple of notes, it took about a month or two to get it. And um, how long did it take us to learn our second song? So after we learned Conquest, we learned our next song, which was Variance. Variance. It took us maybe a week, maybe two, like around a week. So one of the things that we teach here is music literacy. We teach you how to read music. And the beauty of reading music is that well, if once you know how to read the music, you can play whatever song you kind of put in front of you. As long as you can read the notes, you can actually play the song. So now that we really know how to read music, we've worked really hard on that the last first couple of months, right? Um, we can now learn songs a lot faster. So that's a great question. Thank you. Uh, yes, sir, right there. Nice to be here. So the way that it works um, is we have two soft mallets. Go ahead and hold those up. They have yarn balls on the end of them, so it's nice and soft. And she is hitting both sides of the cymbal very softly and very quickly until the sound kind of grows. You can go ahead and demonstrate that one more time. It's so cool. I love this. So and that, that's how that's done. That's one of the many things uh, that our percussion section gets to do. What's really cool about the percussion section is not only do they get to stand up, but they get to play a variety of instruments. So they get to play bass on one song, snare on another, or cymbal. So uh, it's a really cool section to be in. You have to have good rhythm though. Practice, you know, quite a bit. Um, yes, right in the front there. 
how long did this take us to learn the flute? Flute player, so let's go. in general is that they're a lifelong pursuit. So I, for example, I've been a trumpet player for about, oh God, almost 20 years now. Um, there are still things that I don't know how to do and there are still things that I'm working on to play. Um, so what's really neat about this hobby or about this activity is that you always have something more to learn. You can always move forward. I have time for maybe one more question. So who's got a really good one? And I will be around fourth grade to do instrument demos a little later in the year. So I'll answer all of your questions especially. But you right here, go ahead. That's fantastic. I hope to see everybody on stage. I think this is a wonderful activity, obviously. So um, that's great. Um, I do actually, I think we have time for just one more. So go ahead, right there. Okay, I have two. I'll answer you and then you. You asked about question, uh, how long you practice? So uh, about how long should we be practicing? Um, probably, I, I probably uh, would practice maybe 20 minutes a day for five days a week. <laughs> but usually on Friday, it's just my lazy day. I usually don't. <laughs> All right, so the lazy day aside. Um, um, so practicing the instrument does take a little bit of time. Um, it, it is something you need to do regularly. Um, if you think about all the things that you're really good at, I mean really good at, walking, talking, eating, um, you know, reading, things like that. The things that you do every day. So if you want to get good at this activity, it's something you have to do every day as well. And we had a trombone question. I'm sorry. Go ahead. How long is it taking you? Alright, so how long does it take to learn trombone? So Stephen, uh, how long did it take for you to get a first sound? Right, it's, it's, in some ways it's a relatively easy process, but it's the kind of thing that requires a lot of practice. And I love that there are more questions, but unfortunately we are just about out of time. Um, so, but my name is Mr. Testa, and I am in the building quite a bit, so if you see me in the hallway and you want me to answer your question, or if you have any other questions, please stop and say hi, and um, by all means let me know. Um, thank you again for being such an amazing audience, and uh, we hope to see you all at our concert on June 6th. Thank you so much.